Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen for the uh, COVID-19 quarantine cooking classes. And today's show y'all, I, I want to dedicate it to my brother, Bubba. Uh, I lost my brother August the 15th to uh, pancreatic cancer. And it's been very, very hard. Um, I was seven years older than Bubba. And so being, being a girl, uh, it was like he was my baby. And I had to um, help mom, you know, I would babysit. <clears throat> but our daddy died when Bubba was 12 years old. And then our mother died when Bubba was 16. So he had to come live with us. And uh, my heart just broke for my brother. Uh, I was, I was so sad for myself. Oh, sadder than you wouldn't believe. But when I looked at my baby brother, it broke my heart that, uh, cause at least I had had seven years longer with him. And so my brother went through life, um, with very traumatic things happening to him. But I just have to tell you this, he was such a sweet guy. And there wasn't an evil bone in his body or an evil thought. And um, he, he loved to laugh, he loved to laugh. And um, I had him here living with me for the last year and a half of his life. And uh, I will never, never get over losing my baby, my baby brother. So we opened up Uncle Bubba's restaurant for my brother Bubba. And we served a, a dip that everybody loved at Uncle Bubba's. And uh, it was called Shore. Shore, S-H-O-R-E. Shore is good seafood dip. So this is in memory of you, my darling brother. And I can't help but hope that you are, nothing can hurt you anymore. Nobody else can hurt you anymore ever again. That you're in the arms of our Lord. So let's get on. Let's think happy thoughts. So. I've melted a tablespoon of butter in the saucepan, and I'm gonna um, add celery and bell peppers to that, and the onions. And we're just gonna kinda saute these until they're tender. My brother, um, he finally decided after he and his wife were divorced, he called me one day and he said, okay, I, I'm ready now. I think I'm ready. Bubba had built up a wonderful uh, loan business in, in Albany. And I used to get so tickled. He bought, <laughs> he bought this business from this man, y'all. And it took Bubba to all these little country gas stations all out in the country, like, oh my gosh, like, I don't even know if they, he went as big as Cordell. It was little tiny uh, bumps in the, in the road. And he owned rubber machines. <laughs> when he told me that he had bought a business of rubber machines, I cracked up. So every Sunday, he would get in his truck and he would go all to all these counties. He'd spend the whole day picking up the money from his rubber machines. And do you know that paid for Kari's uh, private school and Jay's college? So <laughs> he was in the rubber business at the right time. <laughs> but he, he just had a wonderful, 
<clears throat> wonderful sense of humor. He was a sweet, sweet fella. <clears throat> and my friend Susan Green gave me a beautiful set of chimes and she had it monogrammed, you know, that 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 was Bubba communicating with me. So every time I hear those chimes ringing, you know, I start talking to Bubba. <laughs> So, it, you know, it's just, it, it just makes you feel real strange when your immediate family, everybody's gone but you. Um, I just miss being able to call him and talk with him. Okay, this pan is kind of a little on my little side again. But we gonna get it. We gonna get it. And Bubba, Bubba eventually came out with his own cookbook. And let, let I'll show you his cookbook. Uncle Bubba's Savannah Seafood. So I don't think it's published anymore. But you know, if you're at a yard sale or something and you see it, pick it up, because there's some wonderful recipes in it. But that's my brother. And there's us together. I was always aggravating him. All right, so we're just gonna saute these, y'all, till they're kind of okay. I can't keep them in the pan, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. All righty. So I think that's good enough. So I'm going to pour these in my dish. And I'm going to mix in my mayonnaise. My Parmesan cheese. My shrimp, my white pepper, people love this dip and uh, you can serve it with anything you want to really, uh, y'all, cracker or toast points. And uh, we actually serve this at uh, Paula Dean's Creek House now. And we make a wonderful homemade bread there, so it's good with that too. Uh, and we, I think we serve it at most of the family kitchen restaurants. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna add is the crab meat because crab meat is delicate, y'all, and you want to handle it as little as possible. Now, the recipe calls for a can of cream of shrimp soup, and it asks you to, to take off the top part of your cream of, sh of shrimp soup. That's because all the shrimp go to the bottom of the can and the top is just like the cream part. Well, <laughs> we're having a hard time finding soups. I don't get that, I don't understand it, but that's just the way it is. So we're using cream of mushroom. So I'm just gonna use, you know, half a can of that, just like I would if it was, um, if it was cream of shrimp. So you can make this dish up ahead of time if you're having a party and then throw it in the oven at the last second. And the recipe doesn't call for this, but right towards the end, I'm gonna top it with uh, some more cheese. So I'm just gonna fold in our crab meat because I want you to be able to recognize the crab when you taste it. And if you don't gently do this, you're gonna tear, tear that delicate meat up. 
So you just fold, fold, fold. Okay. So now I'm gonna put it in my dish. And I have sprayed this lightly. With a spray. And now we're just gonna put our dip right in there. Mm. And I love this um, fish dish. I, you know what I'm thinking, Michael? Mm. I'm thinking somebody gave this to us as a wedding gift. I can't remember. But it's so pretty. And everybody eats so much seafood in these neck of the woods. Okay. You could also top that with some uh, Japanese breadcrumbs. Would be delicious. Buttered breadcrumbs. So we're gonna bake this, y'all, for about 20 or 25 minutes. Let's see what the recipe says. For about 30 minutes. At 325. So this is going to be one of those dishes that we're going to have to come back in in 25 minutes. You're going to love this for your next gathering. If we ever get to gather again. <laughs> Okie doke, y'all. I am fixing to take out Uncle Bubba's sure is good seafood dip. It cooked for about, oh gosh, 20, 20 or 25 minutes. Oh, look at that, Michael. Oh, good. Is that not beautiful? That's a great. That is beautiful. Okay, so, so we added a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. Yes. That's the only thing we did different, Eddie. And uh, Uncle Bubba did the same thing. He added cheese to the top of his uh, as well. And look at that. Look at that. This is such a hit. My sweet little baby brother. I'm missing too. I know it. I know it. But you know what? Y'all had some good times. Oh, we really did. You took him to Texas hunting. We went hunting, yeah. Um, mm, that's so good. So, and we took him to a casino. Oh, um, so some of my favorite memories was watching him make his stupid bets. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba fancied himself a blackjack player. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> God love him, he was not. Sometimes he'd hit a 17, wouldn't he? He would, sometimes he'd just say, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. I swear you, you're feeling stupid. Because <laughs> you're gonna lose your money. <laughs> oh my God. And he I would. Wish, I wish I could go out to his cottage and hug and kiss him one more time and tell him how loved he was. Well. I think he knows how much he was loved. He? Yeah. He, we have great memories. Yes. Till um, I see uh, you again, Bubba. Love and best dishes to you, my darling. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.